So, Treasure Wars and Sky Wars are both unique in that they have a wide variety of game modes. However, if you compare the two... Oh, first of all, Sky Wars has an actual lobby. But this, it's just solos, duos, trios, squads, and mega, which is two teams of 12. The only unique game mode is really mega. Here, we have kits duos and kit solos. Uh, so, uh, there's more... There's a more bigger variety. Uh, something you should know is that I find Treasure Wars to be a lot, uh, a lot less enjoyable because if you kill the if you kill the first rush or if you get killed by your first rush and they kill you, destroy your treasure, all that, it's nearly impossible to win the rest of the game. Or like it is impossible to win the rest of the game. So, let's have a quick example. So, this is very dependent on who you spawn next to. But I, one thing I do find, I find all the items in Sky Wars and all the items in Treasure Wars to be very skill-based. This is the two most skill-based PvP game modes. Uh, I mean, they're... Two, two of the only skill-based game modes. So you can either spawn to next someone really sweaty or someone who buys a sword first. And if you don't know the strategies, you need to buy not a sword first. You want to buy blocks first. But the point is, uh, this is... A, I'm not sure if you would call it skill-based, but there's a lot of technical things that affect your outcome of winning. Like, look, this guy, like, didn't get a piece of gold. And also, there's a... Me being a mobile player, there's a lot of disadvantages for... No, you can't. I'm gonna get another thing. Um, the other people rush faster than you can. Uh, so... Uh, so you're already at a disadvantage. The second thing... Uh, is that, of uh, of course, uh, if I kill this rush, I can sit on my base the whole time and just make the biggest bed defense known to man. Like, look at this guy. He's building Mount Everest over here. Of course he has a dream skin. Uh, he is, um, yeah, so this guy, he is a bot, and now it's impossible for him to win, because I have a sword, and he doesn't. But now, this guy's come over, and he's going to beat me. Actually, no, it was Sky Basin. So, now my treasure's destroyed. He has a treasure. If I kill him, he'll just come back. That is the only... That's the problem with this game and this guy's tools. Uh, also, I this is a bit... I like it a bit more because there is prestiging. Um, okay, so that's the first thing. So you take out the rush, you immediately... Uh, if you get taken out by your first rush, you technically immediately lose. Now it's time for Sky Wars. Now Sky Wars has its own hub. But, uh, but the thing is, we, like I said, we have kits on here. And basically, with kits, you can, you can choose any of these. There's Voidwalker, Baller, Builder, Pankin, Trapper. My favourite is either Builder or Trapper. Because Trapper, you can turn invisible and it's quite fun. And it makes me feel a lot more secure. With Builder, you have an Auto Bridger, which balances the ability to not being able to bridge. And there are actually Auto Builders on... Uh, treasure Wars as well, which does make it more even. And the thing I like about this is that it's actually your Sky Wars level instead of just grinding out a new whole game, which is fair, because it's not a new whole game. We need one more player. Can this new play shop? Like, anytime soon. Uh, so it balances a quality, uh, but uh, like I said, Treasure Wars also has that, but you need to buy it for 25 gold and... 
that that's quite a lot. You'll be sitting at your base for a while. Uh, to put that into perspective, like it's a lot. A sword, a sword is five gold, and blocks are five gold. So that's basically, um, how much? A uh, stack and no, two stacks and a half of wool. Uh, but an auto bridge only has sixty four blocks. So you see, I have a different layout to normally. Uh, like we, you get a shovel that you can dig under people's feet with. Uh, but you also you have a diamond pickaxe, uh, invisibility, all that, and the invisibility regens after fifty seconds. Now, when I first got this, I thought you got regeneration for twenty seconds. I didn't really know the book got it, but overall, the this kit is better. Uh, is one of the best kits. It's the evident kit, if you will. Is this guy? Was that guy cheating? Okay, I'm just gonna pearl. So, yeah, so there's the baller, which gives you eight snowballs. And then, of course, there's the other kits that are not useful at all. Now that guy just flopped in the void. Is that guy coming over here? He has less armor than me. Oh, dang it. Um, there. Oh, this guy's rushing. Uh, something you can do in this situation. What? Did he just put his gear on? So this guy's gonna kill me. Oh, I clicked on the chest. Okay, I'm dead. What? Okay. Do I get killed first? Oh, I got killed first! Yay! Okay. Uh, wait, I didn't? What? Oh, he was a void walker. That's the problem. Um, so, with bullet, you get snowballs every uh, kill. And um, uh, you start with eight snowballs. So, you get four snowballs every kill, but you can't exceed the limit of eight snowballs. Uh, then, of course, there is... Normal Sky Wars, which is pretty standard. Um, people have found so many different str uh, strategies for uh, Sky Wars. Like, there's um, uh, there's the use of the bow. There's, of course, snowballs and block placements. And then we've seen to some insane plays and 1v1s that make it just more interesting in general. Overall... I think I'm better at Treasure Wars. Uh, but also, overall, I think um, Sky Wars is a better game. Uh, other, but there is one problem. If you don't get decently good loot after a while, then you... Uh, th there's nearly a 0% chance you can win the game, because no matter your sword, full diamond... Uh, you only take one and a half hearts. That sharpness one sword, uh, sharpness one diamond sword, that that just does the same amount of damage, and uh, that is that is. I mean, I guess that's uh helpful, but and the fact that there's no crit damage on hive, it's really uh helpful for people who uh who don't jump, and also on Bedrock, if you jump, it's basically an instant, uh, instant, um, lose, because elevation and all that. But overall, I think Sky Wars is a better game, during to just, for the fact, you can bring it back so much easier than in Treasure Wars. Treasure Wars, if you lose, if you lose your first rush, then you basically lose the whole game. Uh, and that's it for the video, goodbye.